what's going on guys so welcome back to another python video so yeah in this video we will be using the while loop to insert new keys and values into a dictionary so the way we use dictionaries with while loops are exactly the same as we do with the for loop and it should be you know because the line of code that helps to store the keys and values in a dictionary are independent of whether we are using those in a while loop or for loop so yeah, without any further ado, let's get the video started. All right. So yeah, uh, so the program that we will be building is exactly the same what we did for the video of when we learned how to use dictionaries for while loop. So you can check that video out if you haven't. So yeah, let's name the dictionary as result. And since we're gonna be getting input from the user let's leave it empty and then we're gonna want to get the number of students from the user so let's name it students and and then input so what's gonna happen in this program is that we can ask the user for the marks and the roll number of the students and then according to that roll number and marks uh, these would be inserted in this result dictionary so depending on that roll number and that specific marks so things would be arranged and would be inserted in this dictionary so let's say someone has roll number 53 and acquired 97 so 53 roll number has 97 marks so yeah 53 would be the key and then 97 would be the value so first we need to know the number of students so enter the number of the students so the reason we need this because we need a parameter to know how many times our loop needs to run and then we're gonna have our iterator let's say i is the iterator let's insert zero to iterator and then let's start our while loop while i is less than students so this while loop would run as long as this i is less than whatever number of student that user has so if the user has 14 students so as long as i is less than 14 this is going to go on running so yeah and then also inside the while loop we need to keep on incrementing the i so that this while loop doesn't turn into an infinite loop so first let's get the roll number of the student with a roll equals and let's keep the roll number as integers so enter the roll number roll number and then let's get the name so let's get the uh marks i mean not the name my bad marks and yeah marks enter enter yeah so now we have the roll number and the marks now let's insert those in this dictionary the same way the way we did with the for loops so all we need to write is the name of the dictionary in this case it's result use square brackets and then inside here we write the key it's going to be the roll and then the value would be the marks and then let's convert these marks into integers if we need to do some stuff so let's convert that into an int so yeah basically the structure is almost ready now all we need to do is increment our iterator let's increment it by one so that it runs 14 times until it makes this condition go false and the loop ends so yeah this should help the user to store the value in this result dictionary now all we need to do is we're gonna give a prompt saying do you want to display the result okay and then if the user says yes then all we need to do is if input if the user gives an input saying yes all we need to do is print the result dictionary 
Okay. If not, if you give something different, no, or like some weird stuff, all we need to do is say thank you. Yeah, that's it for this program. Let's run and let's check. First, we ask for the number of students. Let's say we have three students. Uh, another roll number 23, marks 34, roll number again 53, 54, whatever, marks 67, roll number 7, marks 98. Now, when we hit enter, it's gonna ask, Do you want to display the result? Yes, I want to. And so it displays. Pretty cool. Now, let's run it once again. Three students, two, 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 two. All right, so if I write here no, it's gonna say thank you. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something new. So, if you're new to the channel and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And yeah, if you like the video, please give a like. And that's it for this video. Meet you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.